Has harassment or people's BS ever made you consider reducing your presence online or stop creating content? Um, I mean, I got used to, you know, harassment and comments and shit like that. It's just something that I think people who uh, do things online have to deal with. It was a little weird for me at first because I honestly didn't expect this little podcast that Pat and I were doing to get to the level that it did. Um, kind of separate from that, I do Every once in a while, I feel like reducing my my online presence, and I did take some steps to doing that by like getting rid of Facebook and and some other social media. Um, I'm not I'm not good at holding my tongue, and I sometimes talk on Twitter like I'm talking to only my friends. Uh, so I do. At, at, there are points where I feel uh, very exposed. Um, kind of like I've I've I've, uh, I've 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 shown my cards too much. But that usually passes in a few days, and uh, you know I go back to you know some sort of moderate online presence. And I can't I can't speak about creating content because this is all I do. I don't do any of my own stuff. But if I were creating content, no, the harassment wouldn't stop me from creating it. I think you have to have a a, a thick skin to put yourself out there to begin with. Mm. You just have to. Uh, going back to the game trailers days when people would say, "Oh, you should be beat up." Uh, or, you know, you, you should get cancer and die. These are comments that came at me when I was on game trailers. And you have to realize that the people making those comments are weak and cowardly, by and large. People that actually have something going on in their lives, any sort of positivity, wouldn't have the time to, to do stuff like that. Or they wouldn't even think about it because they have fulfilling lives. They have something that matters to them. They have something to live for at that point. Not saying you can say, Oh, well there are professional trolls and it's an, it's an artwork. Okay. I'm sure there's one or two people out there. That's how they get their rocks off. And to them, they, they, they try their best to put an effort, but for people that, that leave just awful comments, it's to me, it's the same as if someone went outside their house, yelled, uh, suck my balls in the into the into the air. You know, four people on the block hear it, look out their window. Well, that's kind of weird, and you never hear from that person again. Right, and that's it. It's just that you always have the people that want attention or say me 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 me. I'm important. Me 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 me. I'm gonna leave the same comment on your YouTube page, your Facebook page, and your Twitter account. I want attention. I want attention. So. You can either give them the attention or fall for it, or you can totally ignore them or block them or tell them to fuck off. And then you never hear from them again. Who cares? Or if you hear from them, you know, they're a minor nuisance for every now and then. But for the most part, then you can get on with the rest of your life. You know, and that's that's the choice you make. You you, you can't let it get to you. If you're going to put yourself out there, you can't do it. You know, as, if you think about like movie stars or TV, think about what we do versus what they do and they get a thousand times the adulation but a thousand times the hate and they can't let it get to them or else they go insane right you know or someone like kanye 